<laughs> Thus, pandas really should not be allowed to be bears because they are not badass. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. <laughs> pandas are unnecessary. A scientific-ish study. <laughs> I would like to begin by stating that I love animals, except for most bugs and assholes like the bottlenose dolphins. <laughs> I will generally fawn over most quadrupeds. Coincidentally, I also love bacon, but that is neither here nor there. <laughs> anyway, despite this, I have begun to question whether the adorable creature known to all as a panda is a really necessary thing. But, you may say, horrified, they're pandas! To which I would reply, yes, they are pandas. But they are also bears, and bears are badass, while pandas are not. <laughs> and here I quote Wikipedia. Though the, great, though the giant panda is often assumed to be docile, it, is no, it has been known to attack humans, presumably out of irritation rather than predatory behavior. <laughs> Thus, pandas really should not be allowed to be bears because they are not badass. <laughs> no, seriously, <laughs> what do pandas have to offer the world? <laughs> Almost all creatures have their spot on the great food chain so that even mosquitoes and stuff help keep the great circle of life in full swing. But where does a panda fit? Its only natural predator is humans, but that's hardly saying something since we're everything's natural predator. <laughs> Pandas don't feed any other creature, nor, nor do they cull the herds of other species by preying on them. All they eat is bamboo, despite the fact that they are officially carnivores and derive little energy or protein from eating the stuff. Another Wikipedia quote. The limited energy input imposed on it by its diet has affected the panda's behavior. The giant panda tends to limit its social interaction and avoid steeply sloping terrain in order to limit its energy expenditures. <laughs> they are the Homer Simpsons of the animal kingdom. <laughs> Sitting on their asses and generally getting in everyone's way. And they probably laugh about it. Moreover, and most astoundingly, pandas do not feel that it is important to have sex with each other. Anything that, that does not have the instinctive urge to dim the lights and put on some berry white really does not exist. <laughs> in the wild, the males and females only come together when she's in heat. After they have done the deed, the male leaves without so much as a, it's not you, it's me. In, cap in captivity, it's even worse. Pandas just show a complete apathy towards mating with each other, so much so that scientists have gone so far as to showing them panda porn and giving the males Viagra. What the hell? <laughs> I can't help but feel that the pandas we are trying to mate are all, dudes, just give it up. It's not going to happen. Find new dreams. This is, of course, our fault. I'm not going to mention human expansion and the de destruction of pandas' territories, because that's a given. It's the fact that we have messed with evolution so much that it is basically a thing of the past. Humans are the only creatures who will save anyone and anything, no matter how big the odds are against it. I'm not saying this is a bad thing necessarily. I mean, we should totally help people who are dying of cancer to punch death in the face. But if someone decides that it's a good idea to strap themselves into a parachute made out of bed sheets, tie themselves to the roof of an SUV and parasail down Deerfoot Trail, then maybe they should just go gently towards the good light when the inevitable happens. <laughs> but no. Rather than rejoicing over the fact that natural selection has just roundhouse kicked, roundhouse kicked another douchebag in the nads, someone is going to call an ambulance, and that guy has just as much effort put in to save him as any other person would. So in conclusion, the panda, <laughs> well cute, <laughs> really just doesn't need to be here. It is an animal that has no inclination to do anything to progress its species. It is the stoner of the animal world. <laughs> just sitting on its ass and eating the nutritional equivalent of po potato chips and Dr. Pepper every day. Pandas are dumb. Let's use science to save more deserving animals, like the tiger, or create cooler ones, like the werewolf. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>